Good evening, everybody. We're going to be picking up Metroid Prime 2 Echoes here. Actually, not picking up, but continuing the stream of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes here momentarily. I will see everyone in three minutes. Don't go anywhere. All right, everybody, I think it's game time. Let's get into some, I guess, what you would call pretty game cube music. Shadow Lich with the sub. Look at that shit. 25 months, baby. I like it. It's game time, baby. Ooh, shit. Shadow Lich is in the house. What's up, man? Sean, how the hell are you doing, man? You holding up all right, dude? No, we've been worried about you. Everybody's been focusing on me a little bit, but 
but trying to focus on myself too. How you doing, man? How's things? How's life? There's that goddamn audio. One day I'm gonna get a new computer. One day I'm gonna get a new computer. One day. One day it will be mine. I am all that is mine. How did that feel, man? Was it feel good to be good around some other people, though? You know? Oh, you went to Alanis Morissette, I'm assuming, right? The future cube. It wasn't bad, just uncomfortable. All right, well, <clears throat> dude, I'm glad you got out though a little bit, man. That's it, it's good. It's good to get out. You know, I Christ Almighty, I'm tired. You know, I'm you know living at my in-laws right now. I feel the same thing. Like I just want to, you know. I guess I had a moment with my wife today, just to kind of a breakdown. But you know, it's just all I want to do is just stay up in this room and just sleep. You know, I mean, it's clearly a sign of, like, not doing well, right? <laughs> you know, what's up, Mo? How are you doing, my friend? The future cube. Isn't that good? It's sexy to play the game cube again. All right, let's get started on some Metroid Prime 2. Oh, hell yeah. Progressive mode, baby. Mo, what were you streaming tonight? <laughs> You're right, but the padded room. Oh, Mo, you... who am I thinking of? Mammoth Press. Sorry, Mo. That's right. That's I just said it. I said. Wait a minute. I always get Mo and Mammoth just confused. My bad. My bad. Yeah, the padded room ain't any better. No shit, right? I totally agree with you there. Negative Ghost Rider. That's a negative. Negative Niner Niner. <laughs> I 
Dude, the music sound effects for this game are phenomenal. Oh, back to this place. Oh, God, I'm just... I haven't done shit, really, and I'm just tired. Just so fucking tired. I think I'm going to turn this stream from PG, PG-13 to rated R. Because it's the better way to play for me right now. So I can scream at shit and yell at people. But I did find a map here that I'm going to use. Rated R for pirates. Where in me gold? All the gold in Davy Jones's locker. Crossroads! <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. There's a missile around here. I don't have boost ball, do I? That's a boost ball thingy. See, here's the thing about here's the thing about Metroid Prime that I wish you could do. I wish you could like key in your own waypoints on the map and say like hey there was something of interest here because by the time you roll back around you forget about it dude this game's so large anyway oh shit you've never seen this one have you ever seen metroid prime at all So, you know, the, the, normally, um, let's just talk about it. Metroids are usually side-scrollers, right? And then this one came out for the GameCube, the original Metroid Prime, and um, I was not sold on it. I was like, this sucks. This shouldn't be first person. That's bullshit. That's not the real Metroid. And then I went home. My buddy let me take his GameCube, and he let me play the game. He didn't even play it yet, and he just let me take it and play it. And, um... There was a part in the game that, like, sold me. It was after you get this thing called Spider Ball. You know, it's a magnetic ball that you get. And there's just... I was I was getting into the game, but it was, like, halfway or three-quarter way... Halfway through it, I was just, like, sold on it. Because you roll up into the ball, and you got these tracks to do. And it was... It was fun. You know, and... And... It, it looks good on my screen... Because, let's consider this, that I am playing on the original GameCube, right? I am not playing on an emulator. This, And I'm not playing an analog system. This is the original GameCube. But, Mo, we are playing it through... Um, we are playing it through a uh, comp the, uh, the component cable for the GameCube. Now, if you don't know anything about the component GameCube cable, um, it was a proprietary cable... That was made by Nintendo. That was only for the 
like 001 editions of the GameCube. They didn't keep the digital output long for the GameCube. Then they went straight to composite and S video. And S video looked good, but nothing looks as good as this. And then we're piping into a Frame Meister. Right, it, it, it's fun, you know, it's fun. And then we're piping into a Frame Meister, which I can even clean it up even more, you know? I can clean the game up a hell of a lot more because of this. Where is it? There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Why does that keep doing that one? Uh oh. So let's try something here. I mean, I could add scan lines to this if we want to. I don't know why it's not. There it is. So we can bump this all the way up. And you can make this stuff look... It, it, it's too much, right? Yeah, dr I think Dread will be good. <laughs> Mo's like, what the hell are you talking about? So anyway, um, there's a... Com component cables for the GameCube, Mo, are like $300, $250, 300 now. It's stupid. I still have mine in the box, like original box. Ones like that are probably going for 350, 400. But you also have to have a cable for audio out. So the GameCube that I have has a digital output and an analog output. The digital outputs for the component cable, the other analog output is for audio. And uh, when you combine, it's crazy. It's so crazy um, that the component cable for the GameCube, it only did video. It did not do audio. So you have to have two cables running out of the GameCube for it. But because I'm running just the original GameCube, I've got to run it into something that will take a, uh, can, will convert it to HDMI, and that is my Frame Meister. Now, the component cables are like 250, a Frame Meister is like 500. Before you know it, you're in the cost of more than a PS5 just to play an old goddamn GameCube. But it looks pretty good, doesn't it? People always like to know a little bit how I run that. So I will tell you, but not anybody else. Yeah, I'm sh I'm I'm sure hoping that dread looks uh, dread's good.
There's a bug in my face. Ah, get out of here. You're wondering how this looks better than others? Seriously, if you go if you go on Twitch right now and you watch other people playing it, there I don't know if there's um a way to emulate it or not. But I guarantee you I have to question how good a quality their video looks. These people are playing it full screen too, so they've stretched it out. These people have done stretch this. I'm I'm going to watch somebody's here right now. Yeah, they stretch theirs out. And is this for the Switch? Or are they playing this on the Wii? I'm asking this guy, what console is he using for it? A dolphin emulator? Okay, this guy's playing it on the Wii U. Okay, that guy... I closed it. That guy was playing it on the Wii U. It looked good. It looked good on the Wii U. But, but, here's the thing. People will use the Wii U. People will use the Wii. They can't use the goddamn GameCube. Why? Because they don't know how to. I pride myself on that. I pride myself on that. I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing that I'm able to play that. Bad 285. I'll just call you bad. Have you been here before? Oh my goodness, it's bad's first time here. Um, we're just getting started here, bad. Um, we'll have some more people trickling in. Hey, but welcome to the welcome to the channel, bad. Um, I think we may have one moderator here at Shadow Lich here. So, bad, welcome to the channel. My name's Nick, but I go by Slap Artist. Let's talk to you for a second. Let's just chat for a minute. Um, my name's Nick, but I go by Slap Artist. I stream retro games using original carts and discs. No emulation whatsoever. Again, no emulation, right? So I'm streaming GameCube, G GBA, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Sega CD, um, GameCube, PS1, PS2, 64, Super Nintendo, regular Nintendo. I stream a lot of shit, as in retro. But I grew up playing these games, man. I was born in 81, so I just kept my games, and now it's paying dividends because I get to stream them all the time.
If you're interested in what I have streamed, please head over to my YouTube channels. I just put that link up there. Um, everything's organized by consoles. You're going to find everything you'd like right over there. There's a lot there to choose from. Over about 400, 450 streams. I cannot remember how many. I do have a Twitter account if you're interested in following me there. Um, always announce that I'm going live. We have an even stronger Discord with over 100 members on the Discord. Feel free. The link's right there. Join that. They're great people there. Really cool people. And if, I, if you're liking retro and you're interested... Um, please feel free to show your support by follow, cheer, subscribe, or donate to the channel. Don't forget that we're also running a, ga a giveaway for some free samples of some Gamer Goo. If you're wondering what the hell is Gamer Goo, um, Gamer Goo is the only product on the market right now that is actually FDA approved that will be an antiperspirant for your hands. You have a chance to win a triple sample pack of Gamer Goo. You'll get something like this, minus the green because um, I, I got a rocket green right now. You'll get, you'll get a triple sample pack of some stuff like this. We pay for the shipping. You don't even have to worry about it. If you win, I'll contact you and say, hey, congratulations, you won. But it's an antiperspirant for your hands. Good shit, man. You know, if you play Destiny, Trials of Osiris, and stuff like that, give a little good, a good goop of some gamer goo, it's good. I do use an Elgato. Back to the game. That's my spiel. That's my spiel. You know, and again, like I said, I don't emulate games. So if I don't own it, I'm not playing it. is back again have I ever had any issues with the capture card blanking out on the game screen Maybe I can bounce my way up here. Think I can do it? No, I'm not gonna be able to get that. God damn it. Oh, but let's go this way. You want to know why? Because they're space jump boots. Get my booties. Hmm. What capture card, what version are you using, my friend? What version? What version of capture card are you using? And let me ask you this. How did you find my channel? Not that I'm disappointed by any means. Elgato Mini? Alright, well, who's your son? Do you mind me asking? You know, because I might know them if they're if they're in here regularly. Elgato Elgato Mini? No no man. It's you have an external card, right? I'm assuming you're running an external card. Oh, dude, totally. Yeah, if you're born in 64, then retro's your thing, man. I, I, I was born in 81, you know, I mean. But I grew up playing these games just 
this was my babysitter. You know, like NES, Super Nintendo, Sega and stuff were my babysitter. This was, you know, when I was in college, I was getting the game. So, I can tell you, I don't know if Elgato makes a mini, but they make a, um, they make a, here, go to the, do me a favor, bad, go to the Elgato website. First of all, have you tried contacting Elgato to ask him why the hell it does that? remember using DOS when there was no hard drive and having to boot it up with floppy disks. I'm talking five and a quarter, not three and a half inch floppy disks. I'm talking five and a quarter. Space jump. Space jump. Look at those booties. Give me them booties. You're rolling a 60S. Okay. I'm picking my nose a little bit. So I have a 60S and I have the 60S plus. Hang on a second here. <clears throat> so, um, you're using, you're using the mini. Okay. So here's the one thing I can tell you bad is that okay. Um, Sorry, my nose is... I, I got a very rare autoimmune disease that affects my nose. And it hurts. It When it hurts, it hurts, man. So, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, my entire septum's gone. I'm on chemotherapy because of it. It's like... It's fucked me up. Sorry for swearing. Sorry for cursing. Um, okay, so I can tell. I can tell you this is that I used to have an Elgato, I still have an Elgato 60S. And um, I used to use it. I used to use it to stream all my games. And then one, one like during a Christmas break, my computer updated and it bricked it. Like the game, the damn card, it kept going blank, like you're talking about. It kept going blank. I would play a little bit, and it would go blank, or the audio kept popping, or I'd have to, after I booted up my computer, I'd have to unplug the card, plug it back in, just to get it to load. And before all this happened, I ended up buying the HD60S Plus, off eBay from some guy for like 130 bucks. He didn't want it anymore. Didn't like it. Now the 60s plus does direct, um, I believe 1080 or HDR through or 4k through. I can't remember what one it does. It does something that does a higher resolution. It does a higher resolution. So it does 1080 through and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. And so I remember hooking up my mini to stream once when I first started like bad when I first started streaming I hooked it up and I tried to use tried to play Metroid go figure the original like through the uh, the mini it was like one of my first streams ever it was like two and a half years ago and uh, it wouldn't work for the mini 
Now, let me ask you this, Bad. Have you tried to hook anything else up through the Elgato other than the Mini? Let's, let's start with that. Have you tried anything else? Space jump. Space ghost. Coast to coast. So have you tried? Okay, well, have you tried hooking up the SNES? So they both do the same thing. Let me, here, will you, will you try something else? Will you run like a DVD player through it? Seriously, try running like a DVD player through it or your television. Try something that you haven't tried already. Um, because I had trouble with the minis too. And now it could be something with um, a lock in it. You know, I could never, I could never ever get the minis to work through the Elgato HD60S. And so that's why I started playing things through consoles and upgraded consoles, but I still play original carts and discs. There's no mistake about that. Dark Temple Key acquired! Yeah, doesn't this look good? I think it looks good. Yeah, I would ask and implore you to check out um, running the DVD player through it or something, man, because I had nothing but trouble um, with this. Like, at one point, the 60 just didn't work anymore. 
It just was done. So, look at the 60S Plus. That's what I use now. You know, and uh, I could never get the minis or the class, the classics to work. I just, it, it didn't register. It didn't go through. It sucked. I hope some of that advice works for you, man. Hey, hey, hey! Artemis, thank you so much, my friend. I like it. I like it. Let's check this map out. Figure out where the frick I'm going. That was a lot of bullshit right there. Well, bad. if you like the channel, please feel free to follow, subscribe to the channel. I would definitely appreciate it. Back in we go. See, now it's open for regular access. That is bright. 
either it's been so long I don't remember or I don't know that I've ever seen this game so yeah this is Metroid Prime 2 um, echoes this one was good it's it's a fun one it's different you know I never got into the third one um, but I'll be ready for the fourth one when it comes out Yeah, the graphics turned out pretty good on this one. The sound is really good. Uh, the music is great. There we go. Give me that missile. I need another missile. All right. Shit, I remember this area. Let's go. Let's try going back the other way. I haven't played this game since 2004. That's how long it's been.
All right, let's see if we can get over on that other side. Oh, there is an amber. Yeah, I can't read those now. Oh, I can jump up over here now. Let's do this. There we go. Look at that. There we go. My visor is down. Anybody watch? Uh, anybody know who? Uh, what's his name? Grover. I think it's Grover, right? Uh, Sesame Street. My visor is down. <laughs> Christ. That little crazy guy. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like we got a fight. Serious. Come on, get your ass up there. I'm not getting up that. Nope, that's a magnetic track. I'm not getting up that. Not the now. Not the now. Um, my alerts haven't been really working lately. I do apologize. It's I have no idea like my My alerts even for donations and subs have been acting up a lot lately But thanks for that follow, man. I do appreciate that. I have no idea why the follow isn't working.
Oh, there we go. There's a missile around here. There it is. I think I might have missed that missile. I missed the missile. Fuck, that sucks. That sucks. He grinds my gears. That almost looks like Covalite. Anybody know what Covalite looks like? The rock? That looks like Covalite. God, it's Dark Samus right there. Kovalite. Look it up. It seriously looks like Kovalite. It's a stone. It's a rock. And the only reason I know it is because I worked at a Now, I worked at a, uh, I used to teach at a university that was a, mi uh, a geology school of mines. And we used to have an awesome, awesome uh, mineral collection. You know, the rock, uh, the mineral museum. We had some cool shit there. And it literally looks like Kovalite. Oh, Kovalite's beautiful. And I used to be on the board of directors at the uh, 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 film, the Kovalite Film Festival. I was on the board of directors for the Kovalite Film Festival. So I knew what Kovalite was. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like Resident Evil, right?
Metroids. Much nicer than Coprolite? I don't even know what that is. Or if that's a real thing. Fossilized feces? Okay, yeah. I would say it's much better than that. Fossilized poop looks like, well, fossilized poop, right? Oh, these are the ones that got. Blow up, they fly at you. Kind of some kamikaze ish space pirates. Ooh, see the, see the handprint? It looks like Total Recall, doesn't it? Start the reactor! Do it, Billy! <laughs> What's her name, Tina? Is it Tina? Do it! Get to the chopper! Do it now! Doesn't it look like the reactor? One thing I don't like about this game is you have to scan everything. That part pisses me off. What what is it? Look into your mind? Is that what it is? Open your mind, right? Is that what it is? Open your mind. Isn't it creepy? Open your eyes like in his belly and shit, you know, coming out. Open your mind. Is that what it is? Open your mind? Free your mind? Quanto is a creepy looking guy, isn't he? 
He's in his goddamn belly, which is even stranger. <gasps> oh no! No, my space jump ran out! That is an energy tank. I need that. We are still playing Metroid Prime 2 Echoes of Schmidt. And we're about to get an energy tank. Zoinkly! Zoink! I like it. I'll take it. And now I know for damn sure that there's a missile tank over here. <laughs> mm, look at that. I can't get it though. I need a super missile to get into that some bitch. That ain't happening. You know why? Because I don't got any super missiles. I'm not using any cheat code, smartass. <laughs> this emulator does not support cheat codes. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> oh, Christ. You guys are too much. Y'all crack me up. Let me turn this AC off here. Y'all funny. Y'all so damn funny. So funny I forgot to laugh. I'll be right back, everybody. Uh, pee break. followage um what does it do you know i don't have a lot of those you know that's just because i don't have a lot of stuff programmed into it i have no idea what that does what what does that um command do that looks disgusting doesn't it it's like an esophagus or i was gonna say rectum oh, oh look at this how fancy is this this is what makes Metroid Prime so fun. Are these little things here? Oh, really?
Let me see if I can get that command to work for us. I don't know how to get that to work. Hang on a second here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Try that now. Here, let's try it. Here, will you try will you try typing that command in now, Schmitty? There it is, man. Thank you for for uh, typing that one in there. Schmitty tried again. Wow, Mo, you've been doing it for you've been following me for one year and nine months. Is Shadow still here? No, Shadow took off. Two years and six months. Here, everybody, give me one second. I got to go grab some water. I'll keep talking to you through my phone. I'll be right back.
All right, everybody, I'm back. I was wondering what the hell, why it did that, and um, I was like, oh, that's right. If you die, it cuts you, <laughs> it cuts you out. All right, let's move on. Okay. Ooh, that is a save station. You guys are all doing roulette now, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're all going to be pulling triggers all night. That's funny. That's funny. There's a missile in here. I just don't know how to get it. I think it's a blast. I think it's burst um, speedball. Um, like tonight, I think there's a time up or up time. 
There you go. Dark Samus is cool as shit. Um... I think I've probably been... Let's see here. I'll tell you. May 3rd, 2018. No more missiles, that's why. miss like oh no worries flammable no sweat my friend um you miss like 10 months from day one you know when i first started uh i didn't really have anybody watching me you know i think shadow lich was like one of the only few people that were watching me i mean it takes time man i mean i was reading an interesting article last night about 
what it takes to be an accomplished streamer and the people who are huge like I mean it's I would love to be a streamer that gets 40,000 people watching me at once I just unfortunately don't play the games I think they want to see I'm not sure through NES fans. You know when I I need to start posting more on NES fans and stuff when I'm going. I mean horror will be a horror will be a good month. Um Let's get a new bean. It's just I was reading a, an interesting article about saying that people if you want to get good viewers start streaming between like midnight and seven in the morning now seriously like midnight or it was like nine to nine or midnight to nine or something basically what it was telling me to do is to stream at the early like late hours because no streamers no big streamers are streaming then um and uh and to go along with that Interesting and to to go along with that um, Not there's You know not that many people on twitch and I was like it's fascinating, you know, but I don't want to stream from midnight to six in the morning Well shit, thank you. Hey, Abby, thank you. I thought you were mo there for a second I know I got to do that hot tub stream, right? I got to get on top of that shit there's a missile around here. I'm gonna find that some bitch because it's here. It's over there. How do I get over there? I don't. Not right now. Ebby, well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. You know, I'm playing the games that I like to play. And I'm going to continue to do that. You know, and so what it is. You know, but I was just... I was seeing these people who are huge streamers. And don't get me wrong, man. I'm thoroughly jealous of these people who are... That have these... There we go. Let's say you get your ass up there. That have these huge streams of 40 or 50,000 people watching them. I would love to have that. I think that would be great. Not only would it be great, but I mean, like, if you're streaming that huge of an audience, I mean, you're going to have some financial stability too, right? Remember, infant Metroids are not pets. Just keep that in mind. God damn bug GD waiting pool We've been here I mean there's some people that are that are big retro stream you know retro streamers that have huge followings like there are they they do exist
All right, let's see if we can get this missile. I swear there's one back here. Ebby, how are you tonight, my friend? I didn't ask. There we go. Bingo! There it is, baby. There it is. Let's take a quick assessment of where I'm at. How's work going? Well, yeah, thank you for listening. I I really do appreciate that. That's where I need to head. I forget dark ammo takes energy. I forgot about that. Metroids are not pets, everybody. Oh, you sound, yeah, sound like the rest of the world, right? Not enough people to work, or A, they don't, you know, companies, they, they want to hire people, but they can't afford to pay people what they're asking. I know it's not Knights of the Round. I know this. We know this. I know this. We know this. I know this. You think the Metroids want Samus as a pet? I wonder if Samus wants the Metroids as a pet, you know? I mean, what came first, the chicken or the egg, right?
Well, that's Ice Beam. What the hell are you saying? <laughs> right, it's a crazy story, right? It's a it's a love triangle. It's what we refer to as a love triangle. Damn phase on, baby. Kick your ass. I don't remember where to go. I'm not getting up that way. Honestly, don't know if I need to be here right now. To be perfectly honest with you. Let's consult the walkthrough. I'm not even supposed to be here today, man. trying to see what it says here okay I found it hang on
Okay. All right. All right. All right. I figured it out. Clerks E will be released soon. There's another Clerks coming out. I love Clerks. I thought Clerks was great. There we go. Bingo. Really, Jason Muse was streaming? That's fun. I bet that was entertaining. They just filming it just finished filming up for that. Yeah, I'll be excited to watch uh Clerks again. I remember the first time I watched it, I had no idea what I was in for. And then it was just later in life that I was like I started to appreciate it more. I need to grab the key here. That's what I needed. Chronic. Chronic and blunt man, right? You know, I watched Mall Rats again the other day, and I haven't seen that one for a long time either. They're awfully good, and aren't you a pretzel man, if I remember correctly? <laughs> aren't you a pretzel man? He goes, I preferably to come out one day, too. He goes, I like to come out one day, too, prefer preferably in a 69. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> I like Jason Lee's face when he's, like, shaking hands with him, and he's just like... <laughs> How'd you like a chocolate covered pretzel? And if I remember you're a pretzel man yourself, damn, what a firm handshake. And would you look at that ring? That dog's faster than Walt Flanagan's dog. Or that guy's faster than Walt Flanagan's dog, right? That's funny. You know what's fun about Kevin Smith is that he's taken the time, you know. He has the people that he likes to film with. And I think it's great. You know, it definitely is a cult following. wasn't one of his best friends growing up i i figured you know it was somebody that he knew i 
And that kid is back on the escalator again. Hey, help me, there's a little boy caught in the escalator. Shit's funny, dude. Save me. I had the soundtrack to that movie. That was a really fun soundtrack. And inside the soundtrack, they had uh, one of those stair. On the cover of it, had one of the stair things, you know, the stairogram pictures. But if you stared at it, it actually said mall rats at the top of it, which is kind of cool. He's like, today's my lucky day. I bought a, I brought lunch and a soda, and I'm going to see this damn sailboat. He's like, Willem. Willem. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Willem. There is no Easter Bunny. That's just some guy in a suit. That's funny. It's like, this is from Brody. And <laughs> they beat the shit out of that Easter. That's a funny movie. It was a good soundtrack. I, I enjoyed the soundtrack. Go back this way. Yeah, I had Bush, had Weezer. Come on, open up. You know, the way I look at them is you just kind of, you don't cross your eyes, but you kind of, I know they say relax them, but it's almost like you kind of, you kind of have to cross them a little bit. That's a power bomb, baby. <laughs> like the back of a Volkswagen? Hey, that girl's only 13. <laughs> he's like... I like where he's like, man, you're not scared. He's like, no, man, I'd be scared as hell, man. What if you get a bone or a fucking fart or something, you know? <laughs> There's only one way to make you feel comfortable. Sneechy bitches, right? It's funny. Oh, yeah, Trish the, di Trish the Dish. Nobody calls me that. What is her name? Ivana. 
Ivana, you know, is to get some sage-like advice. This is the Dirt Mall. Earthly aromas. Brody, hey, they know me here. <laughs> fly, sad ass, fly. That is funny. Come on, get me up there. There we go. There you go. Look at that. Look at that jump, baby. Oh, what? You, you, you have a third nipple? I'd do it, but I pulled my back out humping your mom last night. Nooch. <laughs> oh, Christ. That's funny. Bullshit. It's not part of the food court, right? <laughs> you tell him, Steve Dave. What, just because some guy reads some comics doesn't mean he can't stir some shit? <laughs> oh, we're going to recite that entire movie. We're going to recite that entire movie. You know what? And that's okay with me. Tell him, Steve, Dave. <laughs> it's good. Is, like, so was the Hulk? Is it? Is is the man like? Is his entire stuff made of rock? He's like, it's a superhero secret, you know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How's your comic? How's your comic collection going, Brody? Oh, it's good. Wait. I don't read comics, lady. I'm all man. <laughs> oh, shit. Who has a good podcast? Kevin Smith. Love be a vulture tonight, right? You might want to get him checked out, though. He seems to have a fascination with superhero, superhero body parts. Is that what he says? It's funny. Superhero sex organs, that's right. I don't know how to get the sonic boom.
I don't think I can get the sonic boom yet. Nope. That's the most romantic thing I ever heard, right? He's like, what, when were you going to propose to her? When Jaws popped out of the water. <laughs> Be fair, right? Everybody wants Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. You want to know something funny? My wife has been on Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. My wife went to those places, you know? She's went to, like, Disneyland or Disney World or stuff, the theme park stuff. She's done Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Looks like we got like a boss fight here. That's what it looked like to me. <laughs> the wildness of the ride is completely overrated. There's a power bomb over here. Oh, shit, wrong button. It was overrated. What was Mr. Toad's Wild Ride? Will you explain it to me? Is it a log ride or something? Oh yeah, baby. Look at this. Light beam. Now you're all in big trouble. Not say battle toads. Oh, defeat enemies with dark beam to earn light ammo. 
All right, good to know, good to know. Because that I did not know. Or if I did know it, I forgot about it. Never gets fast, never gets crazy. All right, all right. I mean, I would, I would do Mr. Toad's Wild Ride because I've never done it before. I'd give it a go, you know, I'd try. All right, moving on. Oh my God, look at this thing. This looks like something out of Resident Evil, doesn't it? Just be ready that it's not going to be everything you wanted it to be. Fair enough. We just went in a huge circle. I remember as a little kid, I used to like Puff the Magic Dragon. The roller coaster ride. You know what I'm talking about, right? The roller coaster ride. But as I got older, I realized that isn't that much fun. Of course, something's going to take it, right? My mom and dad were sad too. They're like, well, you don't like Puff anymore? I was like, no, I'm into Puff now, baby. No, I'm just kidding. I know what you're saying though. Yeah, my parents were bummed that I didn't like Puff the Magic Dragon anymore.
don't get me wrong. I mean, I I would do it now again, being older, you know. But as a kid, young kid, you know, like this is lame. This is lame. I'm not doing this. You know, now I'd be like, hell yeah, put me on Puff the Magic Dragon, baby. I'll do Puff. You're about to turn 13, you told your dad, no, I'm not doing Puff the Magic Dragon today. But I think every time I think of Puff the Magic Dragon nowadays, I always think of Meet the Parents. Spit it up. Yeah, and Puff was like, it was in a small circle. You know, it wasn't very long. It wasn't a very big roller coaster. It was very tiny. I think I was living in Utah with my family when I, you know, did Puff the Magic Dragon. Not in that kind of sense, but Puff the Magic Dragon. You know what the hell I'm saying. Did I not get any ammo from that? Whatever. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Did I have a network error? Sorry for being a little bit slow of a night. I don't know what's going on. We don't have a lot of people watching this evening.
Oh, yeah. Um, highly flammable. Yeah. I mean, I will, I'll get it all set up and everything for the raffle. I mean, it'll be a process. I'm, I'm not going to do the raffle like in a day or two. I will um, try to spread it out over some time, you know, like maybe leading up into October. A lot of people streaming tonight. I figured as much. Give me, give me one second here. Yeah, I saw a couple people go live tonight. You know, it's just a little slower night. That's fine. This is where I need to get to. Here's an ammo recharge. Shit, I haven't found one of these yet for the entire game. Is that full ammo for everything? That's money. go get me out of here This way, we're going to save it quick. Choo, 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 choo. Yeah, I saw Blue Coop was streaming tonight. I don't know where Shadow Lady is. She's probably watching this stream. Yeah, is Flammable Man still here? Man, if you got to take off Flammable, don't worry about it. We're going to work on getting that, uh, um, raffle given away. And I'm going to do it in such a way that people, you know, the same way I did it before, donations, subs, stuff like that will get you entries into it. And then, um... You know, that's an, that's an easier way to manage it, but we'll roll it through kind of in October. So I'll have to get it prepared and then announced and everything. But I can tell you guys right now that Highly Flammable um, Man has decided to generously give away, uh, have a have a raffle in the, in, the, in the stream where if you guys don't know that Flammable is in the Guinness Book of World Records for having the largest, is it perler, those little beads? 
He made the title screen for Legend of Zelda with like 58 or 57 some odd thousand beads and he made the Guinness Book of World Records. But he made that for somebody, Perler Beads. He made it for someone and uh, they didn't want it anymore. So we're gonna raffle it off here on the channel. Granted, this is something that got him into the Guinness Book of World Records. He has the certificate of authenticity for it. He's keeping that as he should keep that. But we're gonna go ahead and do a raffle for that. But I haven't, you know, I need to I need to build that up and get everything ready and get people on board with that. But um, we're gonna go ahead and do a raffle for that. And it's like 25 plastic perler boards and like two or four halves of, of other ones, you know? So it, it's gonna stack up. It's gonna, it'll, it'll arrive in a box. But how freaking cool is that, right? This is something that has made the Guinness Book of World Records. It's on, it's in the Guinness Book of World Records gaming edition in 2013, I believe, right, Mo? I think that's what it is. I was doing a little research last night and I told my wife about it. She's like, wow, that's freaking awesome. And, um, you know, and so he doesn't want it. And so we're gonna go ahead and do a uh, raffle on it but we just haven't got everything situated yet but we will we will get there for this giveaway for the guinness book of world records i'm pretty damn excited about that the whole thing put together is about four and a half feet by three feet that's massive that's but it's awesome it looks super sexy I mean, no joke. It it's it is pretty awesome looking. I'll get a I'll get a photo of it put up on the Discord for you guys. I forgot where I was. Let's see if we can get over there. I don't think we can yet. See, I don't think we're getting over to that side yet. Here we go. Just blow shit up. Go. Look at that. I don't know what that did, but it did something. I 
think it allows me to get back up here. gonna get me to that other side let's go there there we go there we go bingo baby bingo Take it. Shit, yeah, I'll take it. stronger now, right? A little stronger. Moving on. These goddamn guys are out of control. Trying to figure out where to go, you guys. I mean, this game is just so big, you kind of forget where the hell you're going. At least I do. Let's see if we can get across this way. Might be an energy tank in there. I don't remember. Maybe this is one that I've already picked up. Take it now. All right, now we got to go to the energy controller. Yeah, man, this map is huge. This is a game that just gets stuck playing it. Like, I feel... Ooh. Mm, there's your, um... There's your missile right there. See, I wish they'd mark spots of interest on the map for you I think that'd make it easier shit 
Like, don't you think that would make it easier if you scan something and you didn't have access to it? It's like, hey, this was, um, something interesting was here. Yeah, put a dot on the map or a question mark. energy tank over here. Ooh, see it? See it? I gotta find out how to get it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, let's try something else. Okay, okay, this could be right. Okay, okay, I think we're gonna get it. Ooh. Shit. Yeah, I missed it. I think there was a, a jump there. It's fun. That's what makes this. That's what makes the primes funner. Is the morph ball. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. There we go. I 
I need to go see what's on this other side. There's something here. There's a power bomb over here. I bet that's a super missile. I bet you can't I can't get that yet. Alright, let's go talk to the dude. remember what the hell happens here I just remember this one being longer than the first one I think it's harder than the first one between the worlds of light and dark I think it's more difficult I thought this is where we had to go. Or we have to do this, I think, isn't it? At least I thought this is where I had to go. Amorbus. Okay, hang on. I'm looking for a guy named Amorbus. Does anybody else know what's going on in this game? <laughs> Sorry, it's just so slow for me.
All right. I am in the wrong area for now, you guys. I do apologize for that. Yeah, screw that one up. Sorry guys, I'm looking something up. I, I apologize. Young daddy, man. How you doing, man? It's good to see you. What are you doing? How are you doing? I'm, I'm Sorry, I'm I'm looking at something and I'm really I'm I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm not confused about the game. Um I'm okay. I'm frustrated right now. I just saw something that's frustrating. Um I'm okay, man. I'm, I'm hanging in there. It's like a really slow night for me. I don't know what the hell's going on or what I did or who I pissed off or or what, but um, how's work going?
Hey, hang on a second here. Slow night, everyone's back to reality since school is back. It is back, you know? Um, school is back. And... Yeah, I think it has an effect on things. I'm, uh... Getting ready as we get geared up for Spooktober. I'm super excited about it. Hang on a second here. Doing range. Um, I'm sorry, I'm I'm perturbed here. Get my ass kicked. Man, I'm I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Like I said, it's a slow night, so I was just reading a few things, and um, I'm like completely lost in the game, young daddy. Uh, I'm not, I can't say completely lost. It's just a game I haven't played in forever. I haven't played this game since 2004, and I forget a lot of where everything is. But I, um... What I wanted to say is that... I... I'm, 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 I'm even embarrassed to say this, but there's a person that I... that was in my... that's in my Discord I shouldn't even have said that. But there's somebody I know here that, you know, they, I don't know, all of a sudden, man, they're just bumped up in viewers. I'm not saying, like, I don't appreciate the viewers I have because I certainly do. But all of a sudden, like, this guy, you know, like, 10 months ago had one or two people watching him. And now all of a sudden he has, like, 70 or 80 people watching him. I just don't know. I don't know. Maybe a stream schedule would help me. I don't know if he has a schedule. I think a schedule would help me, but I feel like it's so hard to stay to a schedule. You know, I mean, I, I feel like there's limitations and stuff that just don't allow me to do that. And so I'm just... Oh, I'm just frustrated. <laughs> we were just talking about viewership like that. You know, um... I'm at the portal site. I gotta go fight some big bastard here. Where is he? Hey, Ebby. I, I no, Ebby, because I I've rated the person. I've rated the person that I've that is all of a sudden has like seventy people watching them. And maybe he got raided before, but um, I don't know if I was ever raided by this person at all. And and just like I, I just checked their stream out, and I'm like, obviously they've upgraded their their camera and stuff like that. And but I'm just like, how the, f you know, how did what what's going on here? You know, are these real viewers or not? I mean, I I'm a little confused. But just uh, yeah, I hear you, like. You know, what the hell? Hey, Frost, it's good to see you, man. How's your, you know, I mean, I I don't know Spanish, but how's your viewership going? I'm just, I'm super curious about it. The 
probably doing good with the Spanish, right? You could, okay, so if you guys don't know Frosty, I've known Frosty for quite some time when he's been streaming. And uh, then he went to Spanish, then he went back to English. Now he's back at Spanish streams, and it's really fun to listen to him really get going in Spanish. I, I can't speak Spanish, but it's really fun to listen. And I know that he was doing quite well with uh, the viewership on there, man. So, Frosty, it's good to see you, my friend. I'm doing all right. I'm still alive, you know, still alive. You reached 19 viewers today? All right, man. That's better than me. I was down to like four a little bit ago. Um... You know, I, I know we can't expect to have that many viewers, but, man, I was just saying, like, this person I know just what jumped up in his category that people just love. You know, I don't know. I shouldn't be so judgy. I shouldn't be so judgy. Holy shit. Really? And it, right, young daddy? And I feel like that's what it takes. Is. Is maybe. Maybe it's me. Maybe maybe it's me. Maybe I need to start jumping in these large streams where people have 30,000 people watching them. I, you know, and I've seen those hate raids. I think Frosty was, it might have been Frosty. Somebody was talking about it, and and there's just some, some hate raids that come in. You saw a new streamer go from twenty to three thousand. Ninety followers to three thousand followers overnight. So somebody just mentioned this. I think it was Schmitty. They asked me. How long have I, when did I start streaming, you guys? I started streaming on May 3rd of 2018. That was my first stream ever on Twitch. Oh, really? You got followed by 100 hate bots? Uh, that's get, that gets frustrating, you know? I've been hit by bots too, Frost. I've been hammered by him. It's just like, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, she's a bot annihilator? That's good stuff. I like that. Um, Frosty saying, to be honest, you're not expecting to grow on Twitch anytime soon. Um, shit, Frosty, I hate you to say that, man. I think you can grow on it. I think you have a great stream, Frost. I think you have a great stream. I do. I wholeheartedly believe that. And I, and I think that you can grow on there. I just think it's really hard 
to grow on Twitch, as we all know this. We're all... We all know that everybody who streams on Twitch, or anybody who watches people stream on Twitch, know that the difficulties that that Twitch possess, you know, there's... It just don't... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't get that one quite yet. It's just hard to grow on Twitch. It really is, you know? And so I feel that you have to put in a lot of legwork. Not saying that we haven't, Frost, you know? Um, I feel that you just... There has to be a ton of legwork and jumping in people's streams and chatting with a shit ton of people maybe, you know, that are streamers themselves to help get your channel recognized, you know? It's hard. There is a missile in here that I need to pick up. And you know what? You you have to, but you get in these larger streams, and I don't know. Maybe you start be you start friending these people up, and you almost you almost have to friend somebody up that has a large following to get a lot of followers. And you know what? That's a lot of work. That's a, yeah, I'm not saying that's it, it might not pay off. It may pay off. Um, I don't know. I I I couldn't tell you. That's what I want. There it is. Knew it was somewhere around here. And you know what? I do um, self-promotion, Abby. I I do. I self-promote is w what I can. And, you know, there was... Um, before we had a move and before, you know, I got sick and stuff, there was that time, you know, I was able to apply for um, a partnership. I didn't get it. You know, didn't get the partnership, and that sucked. You know, but I mean, I wasn't expecting to get it right away and first try. You know, I mean, there's a lot of work you have to do. But I was up there for it. <laughs> right it is i think it is networking you know and um you know i would i would love to you know i mean I'd love to stream full time i think it would be super fun you know i mean but you got to be keep playing the games that you like to play i mean they can definitely get taxing at times i mean there's days where you know i don't want to stream you know i'm like i don't want to stream how do i find the energy to do this when I'm not feeling it at all. You know, that in and of itself is difficult. But I'm just you know, maybe maybe the maybe the guy is doing some amazing networking and doing well, but um I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I shouldn't be too judgy on it, but uh, maybe he's been hammering out streams, you know, just doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. And maybe he's playing the right games. There we go. That's where I got to get to. Is this the girl? Really? Let's see it. Let's see it. Dude, that's amazing. I want to see it.
Wow. Is she a is she just a small streamer or is she is she large or she was chat just chatting eleven days ago. Oh, super small streamer. Yeah, super small streamer. I see that. Yeah, super small streamer. I see that. That's that's you know what that's amazing. You know, and I've been you know, I've been blessed and hammered I think by by people gifting me subs. I know that Curtis has hammered me with um like 250 subscriptions. You know, I mean, I've had that happen. And it's amazing. It's just amazing when that happens. And it's just the overwhelming generosity of people is, is crazy. You know, I mean, you, you want that. Once you have that feeling, you want that all the time. You know what? That sounds crazy to say. No, no, that doesn't sound crazy to say. But it's crazy to expect that of every time. Because that shit, shit just doesn't happen. But her followers have dropped by a thousand. Oh, okay. I'm going to let my life go up a little bit here. That's amazing. You know, and maybe that's what it takes is some giant raider to come in and say, we like what's happening. Let's give this guy a raid. You know, I mean, I... I don't know this, you know, I mean, Frosty's been hammered. Frosty, you got, uh, is Frosty still here? Frosty was hit by a raid with like a few hundred people. You know, I, I think my largest raid that I've been hammered with is maybe like 30 or something people. I think Frosty got hit with like a couple hundred. I don't have a lot of people watching me, young daddy, but sure, man, I can I can give them a raid. I don't, you know, I mean, small viewership for me tonight, so thank you for the people who are sticking around and watching me fumble my way through fucking echoes. Um, yeah, I, I'll give them a raid. Why not? Why not? You know? It's, you know what? I, th I think that once you keep... Well, just... Here's my thing, is that I had to take so much time off for moving and getting sick and now still trying to figure things out um you know it's uh it it's hard like i said like i said i took like two and a half months off two months off from streaming and that's what it's done to my to the channel Me raids are stupid. You got raided once by 700 people. A day later, no one returned. Well, that's shitty. That's shitty. Oh, he's trying to speed run Chippendale. That's a fun one. Chippendale's fun. That's great, man. I mean, that's... You know, I, I'm i not a speed runner. You know, I'm I'm not. Thanks, Flammable. And you know what? I love my fan base. <clears throat> and I love my fan base. You know, I'm playing the games I want to play because I have fun playing them. You know, and there were that hopes of trying to make a Twitch partner and maybe, you know, um, it is, it's a close relationship, you know, I mean, uh, it, it totally is. And, uh, 
it, when I look back at how I started streaming, it, it was it was funny. My first streams are hysterical. In fact, I don't even want to share them with you guys because they're so bad. <laughs> they're so bad. So bad. I can't share them with you. <laughs> they're so freaking terrible. <laughs> uh, right, right. Every streamer has a goal. You know, um... <laughs> they were so bad. <laughs> Frosty, thank you. I know. I remember when you were you were asking me a lot, like like Nick, uh, slap. What what mic are you using? How are you getting this? You know, and and I'm glad to share that with you guys. You know, and and I feel that way with uh, Thunderfoot Bros too. You know, that's the reason why they came back to streaming as well too. And um, it's my wife just walked in the door, and. Uh, you know, it's it's amazing to meet those those people. Do you have a question, hon? My wife needs to talk to me. She's going to say hi to everybody here in a minute. She's going to get on screen and she's going to talk to everybody. Give me one second, everybody. I'm back. Uh, it's when I used to drop by every month. Uh, well, yeah, man. It, no, you guys, you you know, I love my I love my viewership, love my audience, love the people, love the community. Let's fight this guy. Um, Ooh, look at this thing. Was I? Here, um, I think it was Schmitty. What's the followage? Here, if you guys type this in, it'll, I can't do it because I can't follow myself, but if you type that follow age in, it'll tell you how long you've been, uh, in the channel. You're the first reason you started Spooktober. Right, Frosty? And you know what? You and you encouraged me to get a couple games myself, Frost. And in fact, Frost, I used to do a lot of green screen. And then, believe it or not, when I saw you put some stuff in the background, I was like, you know what? I'm going to switch my stream up and I'm going to make a dynamite stream like this. Like, Frosty has a good stream setup, you know? And I was doing green screen. And I'm like, you know what? I'm done with the green screen. I'm going to make something cool in the back. And that's what it's going to be, you know, and, and that's how this came about, you know, all this shit. Two years and three months. Dude, two years? Young Daddy, you've been here two years? Fuck. That's intense. Yeah, green screen is cool, but a nice setup is badass. I totally concur.
You are it. You are an OG, man. You are an OG. For sure. Where is this monster at? Oh shit. He's right there, isn't he? There we go. Where is he at? You started what? Really? And you know what? They've been mods for quite some time too, man. Come on, come on, come on. But you followed way later. No, but young daddy, you've been here for, yeah, you've been here for a long time, you know, and I know, um, yeah, Frosty, uh, Frost influenced me to. You know, change my stream up so I have some cool shit in the background. It's just a, it's a cooler looking setup. Ooh, God, those guys hit hard, don't they? That's getting interesting, isn't it? Here we go, here we go. Get this big bastard now. Come on. Come on, drop, 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 drop. There we go. That killed him? That's it. He's toast. 
you know, it's you guys that kept me into Twitch. I, I was going to go... Maybe he's not dead yet. I was going to go to Facebook. That was legitimately a thing for me. I was like, I'm going to go to Facebook. And I tried it. And you know what? I didn't like it because I didn't know everybody's names. Everybody's names were different. And I like seeing Frost or Young Daddy, a flammable man in here, you know? That's important to me. What the hell is this? That's the dark suit, isn't it? Zang. You know what, Frost? I, I think that's one thing that bugs me the most. Um, is you got the you got the booby streamers, you got the hot tub streamers, you got the 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 bikini streamers, you know, and it's I got into an argument the other day about somebody about some of that shit. Like I really got upset about it. Just frustrating. All right, I gotta go save it. I don't think it's gonna let me go save it right now, is it? It should. That should be. Should be another one there. Isn't is there? Nope. We gotta go the other way, you guys. We gotta go. Right. I know people that have moved to YouTube. I didn't save any uh, light ammo. I didn't save any light ammo. I don't know. I don't have any. Are you kidding me? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I'm a jack wagon. I know, I know, right? These little boys are so excited for to see girls in bikinis and talk to them. It's like, I, I got into it with one streamer one time. I said, you're so, you might as well just do Pornhub. She got really pissed off about it. I said, you just look super trashy. You know, I mean, this is what you do. I know you're probably making money doing it, but don't you want to be respectable? She got mad. Like, I got blocked. I got the ban hammer quick. It didn't last but, like, two minutes, and I was done. I was done. <laughs> I had enough of my shit. Sorry. It was funny. Oh, dude, it was it was so short lived. There was nothing about it. Like, I, you know, I mean, it was it was it was just typing.
It was funny. I, I mean, I thought it was funny. She didn't find it funny. I thought it was really funny. Right, but would you? No, you know. Right, here's the thing though. It's like, you, you realize that when you do that, you know, you can never take that away, right? Wasn't only fans supposed to get rid of porn anyway? And then they decided to keep it, right? Yeah, I thought OnlyFans was going to get rid of it, and people started panicking. And... But it's not, type of streamers are not banned. Even they even have right, they do. The whole OnlyFans things goes deeper than the headlines. What's up, Clacy? Dude, it, it yeah, they Twitch makes a ton of money off it. You guys know this, right? Twitch makes huge money off hot tub streamers. Like, they make hand over fist, man. They're raking in the bacon because of it. You know, but I, you know, it's like that, that hot tub streamer. I told her to have some dignity, you know? You might, that's what I told her. I said, you just might as well just do Pornhub. And, and that's when I got banned. That didn't go so well. <laughs> Link Leotard, right? Jesus. Crime in Italy. What is Twitch coming to, right? Let's do a double save. Are you serious? You added a picture of, hang, hang on, hang on. Once you added a picture of boobies to your stream and got a lot of viewers, once they found out I was a guy, they all left. Are you serious? Like, what did you do? Like, did you put it on a, a just your screen? Like, just boobs on the screen here? Maybe I should, maybe I should do that. Maybe that's something that we need to do a test of, like some sort of, some sort of quantitative analysis study to find out what the hell is going on with that. Because I would almost think that you're probably on to something. Because I, I would be interested to be like, no, this is something that seriously works. So let's throw some big fake boobs up on the stream and uh, name it 
some hot tub party, you know, and uh, let's see what happens. Why not? We got nothing to lose, right? I mean, if Twitch doesn't like it, you just go to something else. That's funny shit. You know what? I have green. I have green shirts. Okay. I have solid green shirts. I'll just wear a green shirt and I'll get some big, well endowed woman on there. I have Gamer Goo shirts that are green. I can't wear green anymore because I'm using green screens anyway. So I'll just wear the shirt backwards, okay? I'll wear the shirt backwards, put that on there. I won't shave. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I won't shave, and I guarantee you, I, I don't want to guarantee you, but it'll be funny to see if people still come in and say, this woman doesn't have long hair, and she has a beard. But oh my god, her tits are hanging out. Let's go check it out, you know? Mm-hmm. All natural. Yeah, right? That's a little too natural, right? Wow. They're going to be like, I went to the screen, I went to the stream, and she had an Adam's apple about as big as his balls, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Le French, le pepe le pew. That's funny shit, you know? Mm-hmm. They're going to see that and be like, that's okay, you know? That's she, you know, she has really big boobs, but she has a, she has a beard. But she has really big boobs. Let's look at him. And they're going to come in and be like, Get out of here. Yeah, it does, you know. I mean, lay off. I'm starving. <laughs> Christ. <sighs> oh, they found holes, all right. That's what the guys watching are hoping they'll find, the holes. Oh, yeah, boobs trump everything. Boobs trump everything. Doesn't matter. However, everybody, that being said, um... That's something we're going to try. We are going to attempt that. My wife's going to look at me and be like, why are you finding pictures of women in bras and bikinis? I'm going to say, you know what? And you know what? I'm going to get one that doesn't even match my skin color. I'm going to get one that doesn't match my skin color. We'll see if that even works. <laughs> oh, that's funny shit. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Let me grab that shirt, because I'm signing off here in a few minutes, so let's check this out. All right, so here's what we're saying. We're going to put this shirt on. <laughs> Right? Look at this. This is going to work, baby. It's going to work. Let's see. If I put the goo up there, that's kind of a fun logo, right? I'm going to do that, and I'm going to get a big set of them. <laughs> and people are going to buy that. People are going to buy into that. Oh my god, that's funny. Ooh. Oh, dude, that's right. And you know what? They're going to be, and maybe even old ones. Maybe get some old, saggy tits. And that's what I'm going to do. Someone would like those too, because everybody likes a boob. That's funny. That's going to work, you guys. It's going to work. Uh-huh. Anyway, that being said, you guys, I'm going to bounce. My wife's home. I'm going to go make her a little bit of food. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for making me laugh. I do appreciate that. Have a great night. Oh, uh, yeah, let's raid that guy. 
Let's raid that guy quick. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I should be back tomorrow with another stream as we continue this on here. Have a great evening, everybody. Stay safe. Stay smart. Make smart decisions. I love all of you, and I will hopefully see all of you back here tomorrow. I'm going to try to stream a lot earlier tomorrow so I don't have to stream into the evening. Um, but you never know with me. I always say that shit, and it never happens that way. So we're going to sign off. We're going to go ahead and give this guy a raid. Um, don't know him. I don't have a lot of people watching, but I think you'll appreciate it. So everyone, take care. Have fun. I'll see you all back here tomorrow.